This is uh, a lesson on how to play two octave major scale on guitar or bass. Uh, we're going to start out with the guitar fretboard here. Uh, what's nice about this uh, is that the roots are labeled in kind of a darker blue. Um, so here is a, I guess would be, we can call this G major if you're starting on the third fret. Give you one, two, three, there's a half step right here. Three to four, five, six, seven, octave. And then the second octave will be one, two, three, half step to four, five, six, seven, half step to the octave. Um, so if that doesn't make sense, let's look at the Guitar Pro version of the same thing. Um, so here's the tab for this. This is your one octave and then your second octave. So this is exactly what we just looked at. So this is just a different image. Let's take a listen to what that sounds like. So before you can play that, that simple pattern. to sit and look at this and work it out a measure at a time or if it's better for you to look at this diagram and just go really really slow until you're comfortable with the first octave then start here and do the second octave uh, let's look at the bass version so here's the first octave here's your root going to the first octave practice just this much Go really slow. Here's what it sounds like. Let's slow that down. It's pretty fast. And do that a whole bunch. If you can't do it ten times in a row, you're going too fast. Then do the second octave. And just practice that. Then, once you're comfortable, then put the whole two octaves together. And then do the same process from the high to the lower to the lowest octave. This should take you at least 10 or 15 minutes. The more time you spend now, the, the faster you learn it, and the deeper that you will learn it. You will have it memorized. You will have the muscle memory of it. If you fly through it real quickly, you will not learn this, and this will be a waste of time. Something that's very important to learn early on, and the, the faster you can pick up on this, uh, the, the faster you'll learn a lot of other things that we'll do here at school. You have to really pay attention to where the roots are. Uh, here's your root. Here's your first root. Here's the second octave, and then here's the higher octave. This is just for guitar. And know what that is and be able to say the musical, say the scale with the numbers. So you're going one, two, three, four, five, here's your five, six, seven, one. I just put some five. And then here's your other one. One, two, three, four, five. Here's your five again. Six, seven, one. And say the scale as you're doing, say the numbers out loud as you play the scale going up and going down. Uh, let's look at bass and we'll do the same thing. So here's your first root and then your second root right here. I'm, I make the rhythm stop on the root so you really get that muscle memory of where the root is. And then octave again, and back to the second octave, and then down to your original root. It's really important that you know where the root and the fifth is. So as you play it, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's talk about how to practice this. All right, so here's how you should go about learning these. Um, this is something I've just figured out over the years. Step one is figuring it out, learning it, teaching it yourself. That's just figuring out the pattern how to play the right notes in the right location on the instrument, and the real basics of learning. The slower you go here, 
the better you will be later on. The key to everything, the key to music is going slow. This is not a joke. This is the key to music. Go slow. Uh, once you can actually play the pattern, then you should always be playing with the click or a groove. So this would be step two, repetition. Um, so here is this drum beat. If you just do a search for um, 70 BPM drum beat, a bunch of them show up. But this is one I use a lot. And just start to play your scale with this. And so on. Play it right along with the groove. And then once you're comfortable with that, then you can play the pattern. Play the and you would play that pattern. And when you're good at it, you just click the faster button and do it again. Three, four, bum, 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 etc., etc. And then this, what's great about this video is it always has a link to the faster. So then you do it again faster. You need a website. Uh, so that's your repetition part. When you repeat it, I recommend doing it in uh, as a static. Oh, here I already have this down here. Repeat it as a static pattern. So that's just bomb, 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 just the same rhythm. And then pick a pattern. So like, like the boo, 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 boo. You could do a pattern. You could, you could go boo, 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 boo. That's going like one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five, four, five, six, etc., etc. Uh, and then what you should do is improvise. So put the drum groove on, play the scale, but improvise what you're playing so that your brain is controlling what your finger is doing. This is so important. Uh, so let's review. So we've got step one. It's just figuring things out. Step two is repetition. Step three is improvisation. Because what good is a skill that you can only do a certain way. There's a better way to say that dramatically, but um, if you learn how to add, and you can only add 4 plus 4, then you don't have the skill of adding. You just have memorized the trick. So with the major scale, you want to be able to play the scale. You want to understand what you're playing. You want to be able to move in, into different keys. Uh, you want to be able to replicate things in certain keys. If you can play it in the key of G, you should be able to play it in the key of D. You want to be able to improvise. You want to be able to create. These are the reasons we do this major scale. Okay, good night and good luck.